So, uh, so, so let's say that um, I got a group of students that are that are um, they listen to this and say, okay, sold. I, I want to do this. I want to. I want to go down this type of of path. Um, do they need to be doing much in particular healthcare specific um, as juniors and seniors in college, or does the specialization happen later? So, so where do, how, how does how does one actually get into this, and how, how does one plan uh, to go this route? You know, I I've, I've been at VMG since I left UT ten or eleven years ago, right? And you know, I came out thinking I wanted to do investment banking and it was in the midst of the financial crisis. It was, it was hard to get a job uh, in general back then. Um, and I found VMG because it did a lot of the things that investment bankers did, right? Financial modeling, valuation, working on transactions. Uh, but then it didn't, in my opinion, have some of the downsides, you know, I'm, I'm not working hundred hours a week uh, when I was 22. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. but you know, when I came out, I had zero healthcare experience. You know, I'd probably been to the doctor once in my college career. So, uh, you know, when we hire students, we don't expect you to know really anything about healthcare. You know, we do want you to know financial statements, you know, valuation methodologies, discounted cash flows, Excel skills, those mm -hmm. sort of things. But I don't expect one to know what a CPT code is, right? Which is if you come to work at VMG, you will know all about CPT codes because that's long story short, how people get paid. But um, generally speaking, we'll teach you all that, yeah. uh, which I think makes our, our analysts very, you know, we're, we're giving you skills that most in an early age that a lot of people wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Right. Like we're giving you the healthcare one one the finance, corporate finance, valuation 101 right out of school which makes our our employees really marketable to all sorts of entities right so we have students go to private equity go work in investment banking go yeah. work uh most of our folks that leave go work at our clients i've had two of my managers leave in recent years to go work for our clients which is which is flattering for us but they're like hey uh we want to bring some of this expertise in-house yeah. Etc. So, um, yeah. you know, we train everybody. I, I think that's one of the biggest things you get at VMG is not only, hey, you, you get your salary and your benefits or whatever, is you get a bunch of really marketable skills. You know, I'm, a, I'm an expert in healthcare, and then I'm an expert in transactions slash valuation and corporate finance. So, yeah. So, so I want to, I, I want to talk a little more about uh, a life at, at, at VMG in just a moment, but, but before that, just maybe is, is a, a, a kind of a brief statement maybe that we can offer to to students wanting to go this this type of direction i think what i hear you saying is as a college student you want to train like a generalist in finance so train like a generalist understand valuation understand financial statements understand how to basically put in the hours ask questions be curious and then walk through a door and become a specialist thereafter right i mean that, i think that's your story right i mean that's i mean we don't expect kids to to take healthcare. i mean if there's a healthcare economics class i mean if you had that knowledge that would be a plus i think that would help you in sure. the interview process right hey sure. there's a healthcare economics class or you know i know people that get masters in health administration and that sort of thing i mean i think that would make us interested, but it's by it's by no means disqualifying if you haven't taken that. You know what what we want are kids that are hungry to learn, you know, smart, um, intellectually curious, inquisitive. You know that are going to come in and ask questions and do the work to learn this stuff because we don't expect a twenty two year old out of out of school to know this. Now, but what yeah. we do expect is, hey, I know how financial statements work and interact and you know, I know how to uh, some I have some financial modeling skills in Excel, you know, how to sort, manipulate data and, you know, build charts and draw insights from large sets of data. Um, you know, mm -hmm. any kind of financial modeling skills would be really important. Um, it, learn about valuation. You know, what are the different ways to value a business? What are the you know, what is a discounted cash flow? I, you know, you need to know what a discounted cash flow is 
when you come to the door, I'm, I'm going to expect that you know that, right, as a as a analyst. If I say those words and you look at me with big eyes, I would be very disappointed. So, um, but yeah, I mean, healthcare skills are a plus. I mean, if you're coming to interview with us, I would definitely research the industry in general, you know, uh, try to learn about it. But we by no means expect for you to be some sort of expert. So that's what we bring. Yeah. To the table, right? Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, in all of this, it, it, by the way, it, it sounds kind of like you're hiring. <laughs> yeah, we are. We you guys are. are hiring. So, uh, and, and that's, I mean, that, that's good news for everyone, but, uh, but I get the sense from you that, uh, this, this is a repeated thing. This is, you know, every, every, every cycle you all are, you all are hiring and, uh, you want, you want new people. You know, we're not an investment bank where you come in and work for two years and then they say, so long, you know, I spend two years training you. I get really upset when our folks leave. Cause I was like, wow, you know, for the first six months to a year of the job, you're really not that useful to us because you're still learning, right? It's not really till your second year on the job that you become really productive for us as a firm. And then if you were to leave right after the second year, I would be, I put in all these hours training you and you're gone. Right. So just like me, I've been with the firm for 11 years. We want folks to stick around. Now, that being said, of course, we have folks that leave to go do other things. So, you know, we are constantly recruiting to, to replace folks. But then more importantly is VMG's just grown. You know, when I was um, coming out of college, I think I was a 30th employee. And I think we're up to close to 200 now. So it's not just replacing people that leave. It's, hey, we're trying to grow 10 to 15 percent a year. And mm -hmm. as a consultant, your resource is people, right? So to grow, you've got to have more people. So we're constantly hiring. I mean, I think as a firm, we hire 10 to 12 analysts a year out of school nationwide. You know, mm -hmm. here in the Nashville office, um, it's probably more like two to three a year, sometimes less, mm -hmm. sometimes more. Um, mm -hmm. But we've got offices in Denver and in Dallas, and we've had folks from UT go to Denver and Dallas too. So uh, we've got an office in Chicago, Minneapolis. So we're we're all over the country. But generally speaking, it's because we're growing, and I think yeah. we're growing because healthcare is continuing to grow in general as a percentage of the GDP. You know, the inflation in healthcare is pretty high. Um, number two, there's massive consolidation trends in healthcare, where historically it was very small mom and pop businesses, you know, the local doctor providing care. Now it's more corporate, larger entities. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. see a lot of consolidation. And then like I was speaking to earlier, just massive changes, new laws, regulations, new dynamics that are causing the industry to have to evolve, right? Which yeah. creates the need for consulting. So, yeah, well, I, I, I mean, I, I, I love the, the fact that you've, <clears throat> so I, you know, you started this 10, 11 years ago, and then we've seen uh, a handful of UT people um, following your wake, and, 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 and now you're, you're reaching out wanting to, um, you know, deepen that relationship. And, you know, I, I think about the word pipeline, you know, we'll have a pipeline, um, at least uh, getting, getting folks in to, uh, to talk to you all and, and, and have a shot at, at landing one of these jobs. Um, so, yeah, um, I mean, uh, for, oh, and just to break in there, I mean, to me, coming out a finance major kind of has a couple different routes, right? You can go the the corporate route where you go work for a corporation and a corporate finance department. You can go the investment banking route. You can go the consulting route. Uh, you can go like the wealth management stock market route, right? Go work for a hedge fund or a wealth management firm. Um, you know, I think the great thing about consulting, while we don't do much in the stock market, uh, it gives you paths to go to the corporate side. It gives you paths to go yeah. to the private equity side. It gives you paths yeah. to go to the investment banking side, if that's what you want to do. Uh, yeah. But, you know, when I came out, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Right. I just was, hey, transactions sound fun. Value, I like valuation. Um, I like financial modeling. This sounds great. And it didn't have a lot of the downsides of. I got to work a hundred hours a week, you know, yep. um, that sort of thing. Um, so to me, I mean, if I was a student, I would consider it just because it opens a lot of doors. 
you know, people think about healthcare, they don't think about finance, but I mean, these are large companies, right? So HCA is in the Fortune 100. It's the biggest employer in Nashville. It's our biggest client. Um, you know, United Healthcare is in the Dow. Um, it might be top 15 biggest company in the country. So, you know, finance students, they usually think about Wall Street, but all of these yeah. companies have corporate finance departments and they all use consultants and yeah. like ourselves. So a lot of huge players. So uh, let's uh, one, one last thing I want to ask you about. Um, so you mentioned uh, first six months or so on the job. People are really, you know, they're, they're, they're training, not a whole lot of use to you, but you're kind of pouring into them. Um, but that first six months to a year, uh, just so our students can kind of get a flavor of what life would be like. Can you, can you talk a little bit about what, what the, the day-to-day job looks like when one of your new analysts comes in? Right. So generally when our analysts come in, we go, they go to Dallas for like a week or two of training. Um, but when they come back, I mean, it's not a classroom type training environment. We're going to put you on projects. So a first year analyst will probably work on 20 different projects his first or his or her first year. So they'll be staffed with more experienced folks. I'll be working on it. Maybe a senior analyst or a manager or another analyst that's been with the firm for a while. And you kind of learn by doing right. So um, the, the analyst's main job is, at the end of the day, supporting evaluation analysis. So we'll get, hey, we're trying to value company B because company A wants to buy them. So we'll go to company B and be like, we wanna see all of your financial statements, operational reports, major contracts. You know, we'll, we'll get all of this information around the company, right? And the analyst's job is to, to organize that information, figure out what we have, what we're missing, then take that information and build a financial model, right? take the financial statements and take all this operational um, data, analyze it, organize it, you know, present it in a usable format that we can then do projections and just kind of cash flow analysis. So, you know, the first six months on the job, you're, you're learning about healthcare. You're learning about what kind of data do we get? What kind of data do we need? You're learning how to build a financial model, right? In Excel mainly. Um, you'll help draft our deliverables. So most of our analyses will come with a pretty, you know, PowerPoint presentation that you'll help build. You'll sit in on all our calls. So, you know, we have due diligence calls where we're talk or we'll go on site and we'll meet with the target and ask them a bunch of questions about the business and historical performance. So you'll get, while you probably aren't participating on those calls because you don't know enough yet to probably speak intelligently, you'll be on all these phone calls with C level um, clients as we talk through their businesses that they're trying to buy or sell or presenting our analyses. So, you know, your first year is really learning all that stuff. And then the second year is really, okay, I know all this stuff. Now let's go do the work. Um, if that makes sense, but your, yep. most of your time is, you know, data analysis, organization, financial modeling, you know, drafting our deliverables, we do a lot of industry research. Hey, we're doing this kind of weird healthcare company. We don't have a lot of experience with go look at what's going on in this industry or go research the public companies in this industry. And let's, you know, figure out what the key macro factors are impacting the business. So you'll do a lot of general research and just general support. Um, but that's kind of the, the day in the life, but you, you know, we're a team base. So you it's, you as a new analyst are going to be working with older people that will show you the way, right? And how you learn is by doing. And, you know, each project we see analysts get better and better because, you know, they understand everything better. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks so much for the, uh, for that insight. I mean, I think that's, you know, hearing, hearing that description is so useful um, to our students who, I mean, they just, they just want to know what, what they would do in a particular job, but uh, but but just more 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 broadly, really appreciate all that you're doing. Uh, appreciate you reaching out to us, and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can connect you with uh, lots of uh, lots of high quality and energetic individuals. So yeah, absolutely. Thanks, uh, thanks for your time today, William, and uh, we will talk again soon. Awesome, thank you, Eric. Go balls! Right. I got Neil in yeah. the background.